Steve Jackson's Illuminati. The game of conspiracy was initially discharged in 1982, and numerous trust the diversion has just anticipated significant occasions that have happened, including, the 9-11 assaults, Princess Diana's passing, and the Japanese tidal wave. Worryingly, the amusement predicts that we are going to encounter an up-and-coming atomic assault that will start the start of World War III. The picture beneath was drawn on a card taken from the 1990s table game demonstrating what gives off an impression of being a creepy portrayal of the 9-11 Adred assaults, years before it really happened. Express.co.uk reports The Illuminati, most broadly included in Dan Brown's books, is an affirmed mystery assemble made up of the world's tip-top who conniving scholars guarantee are plotting to present another world request which will give them add up to control over every one of us. The way that a diversion about such a shady society seems to have anticipated the world's most exceedingly awful fear strike has given scheme scholars more fuel than they could have ever longed for. One hypothesis routinely touted by trick scholars, known as 9-11 truthers, is that the outrage was really coordinated by the Illuminati through U.S. insight administrations to accumulate bolster for the arrangement of wars which at that point unfurled in the Middle East. The card being referred to, and printed in 1995, looks strikingly like pictures of the 9-11 assaults in New York that spread over the globe, with a blast tearing through the center of one of the structures. Around 3,000 individuals kicked the bucket after a progression of al qaeda dread assaults on U.S. soil on September 11, 2001. Two seized traveler planes were intentionally flown into the two towers of the World Trade Center in Manhattan making them fall onto the city beneath. Where the expectation tumbles down is there is no specify of planes being utilized and the card itself is portrayed as the psychological militant nuke card. The highest point of the building is additionally tipping to one side, recommending it could be going to fall. Another card called Pentagon demonstrates the U.S. Protection HQ consuming. The Pentagon was additionally focused around the same time, enduring genuine harm after a business plane was flown into its side. Be that as it may, one fear-inspired notion is that the planes were a fake and the Twin Towers were really exploded with a pre-planted atomic gadget. Another article about the cards was distributed by www.cuttingedge.org, a site which says it gives profound bits of knowledge into the New World Order. The creator of the piece expressed, how on the planet did Steve Jackson realize that the Twin Towers would have been assaulted? This card precisely portrayed the World Trade Center assault in awesome detail. The card precisely delineates that the place of effect is some separation from the highest point of the Twin Towers. The subtitle at the best appropriately distinguishes the culprits of the assault as psychological oppressors. The Twin Towers were not pulverized by a psychological militant atomic gadget, or would they say they were? Was a miniaturized scale atomic gadget utilized at the base of the Twin Towers? That sort of little, yet atomic. Blast would represent the sudden wave of fortified cement and steel shell just disintegrated into clean as it fell. Swinging to the Pentagon card, he included, when I saw this card, quickly in the wake of seeing the Twin Tower picture, my blood solidified. Unless one had propelled information of the Illuminati plan, there is no chance to get on Earth that they would have possessed the capacity to make pictures in 1995 that precisely portrayed the unfurling occasions of 9-11. Some claim that Mr. Jackson some way or another got a duplicate of the Illuminate's groundbreaking strategy and utilized the pretending business to spill it to the world. This hypothesis is further fueled by the reality the U.S. Mystery Benefit DID attacked his street number before the diversion was discharged. The frontline report included, he got an unexpected visit from the Secret Service, who attempted their best to close him down and keep him from distributing his diversion. As indicated by Mr. Jackson's site, a lot of gear was seized, including four PCs, two laser printers, hard plates and equipment. The examination was into suspected extortion regarding charged hacking. In any case, a judge tossed out the case and granted Steve Jackson Games $50,000 in addition to $250,000 costs. So what is anticipated straight away? 
in the event that you trust so much stuff, at that point worryingly it is World War 3. The World War 3 card allows players to release another worldwide clash to introduce a new world order, which is likewise highlighted on it. A substantial illustration of a mushroom cloud, recommending a third worldwide war will be atomic, takes up the majority of the card. Ideally this isn't a stark expectation of what is in store. Another card cautions of a tremendous space rock strike. The last two cards foresee the ascent of the counter-Christ, trailed by the rapture. 